Good evening everybody, this is Dr. Murli Bhardwaj, your classmate in the NEET PG preparation. Today is September 12th, another 100 days before you become the topper in the NEET PG. Let us master this microbiology because these organisms, their culture characteristics, Anantanarayanan textbook of microbiology is like a dandakaranya. It is like a dense forest. Somehow we have to make it interesting with few mnemonics. Let us quickly master a few. Microbes that do not stain, that do not stain with the gram stain. What are they? Treponema. It is too thin to be visualized. Rickettsia, yeah, it's intracellular. How can you stain it? Mycobacteria, they have a very high lipid content that requires acid fasting. Mycoplasma, usko to cell valich nahi hai. Legionella pneumophila, it is also primarily intracellular. Chlamydia also is an intracellular parasite. It lacks the muronic acid in the cell wall. That is the reason it doesn't stain with the gram stain is what you have to remember. Now, what are the four organisms and genes sustaining, which you need to remember? Borrelia, Trypanosoma, Plasmodium, Chlamydia. That is what you have to basically remember. What were the subjects that made you to become a MBBS student, Doctor? You became topper by studying biology, physics, chemistry, right? Eh? So, gene sustaining. Borrelia, Trypanosoma, Plasmodium and Chlamydia. You will use a low flux medium for the diphtheria. Right? So, low flux medium for the diphtheria, which you should not forget. Achha. Few microbes require cysteine for growth, doctor. Which you have to mug. One of the favorite need PG, MCQ. Francisella, Brucella, Posturella, Legionella, Tu Kahaho Mere Ella. All Yellas will be system requiring for the growth. What are they? Francisella, Brucella, Posturella, Legionella. Elasco Yadrako, they require system for the growth, is what you need to. Remember, now if you look at the E. coli toxins, you have a heat labile toxin, heat stable toxin, heat labile co adenylate cyclase chahiye. I mean it is the one which stimulates the adenylate cyclase, heat stable stimulates the guanylate cyclase, abhi examinal, isi baat ko puch ke twist karega aapke shoulder ko, what will you do? Labile like the air, stable like the ground. Labile like the air, stable like the ground. Ground hai, guanylate cyclase, stable is the heat stable toxin. Now doctor, which bacteria produce the exotoxins that require, that increase the cyclic AMP? Usi naam pe yaad rakho, cyclic AMP ko. C is cholera. It rises cyclic AMP. A is anthrax. It raises the cyclic AMP. Very, very easy. Hey, doctor. Hum sab milke padai kare to. P is purchases. In cyclic AMP. P jo hai na, that is purchases. Yum is, there is a way called Montezumo's revenge. It is uh, the popular name for the enterotoxic, uh, toxigenic E. coli in the West. So, Enterotoxigenic E. coli also rises the cyclic AMP. Now, doctor, what are obligate aerobes? Obligate aerobes. But like oxygen ke bina wo jita nahi. So, one way to remember is these nagging pests must breathe. Oxygen jirvet hai usko. N hota hai, nocardia, P hota hai, pseudomonas, yam hota hai, mycobacterium, tuberculosis, and B is the bacillus. Bacillus anthracis, bacillus serious. Agar oxygen nahi hai to 
राम राम सत्य है वो मर जाएगा ठीक है ना शिवडोमना सारू जिनो Why amino glycosides are ineffective against anaerobes, doctor? Amino, amino glycos, glycosides, amino glycosides. They are ineffective against if there is no oxygen. They are ineffective against the anaerobes. Is what we need to remember. Now, typically, saprophyticus. साप्रोफाइटिकस के बारे में बहुत क्वेश्चंस पूछा जाता है सो यू कैन रिमेम्बर नो स्ट्रेस नोवाबयासिन साप्रोफाइटिकस रेसिस्टेंट एपिडर्मिस सेंसिटिव एपिडर्मिस सेंसिटिव राइट सो यू हैव स्टेफिलोकोकस एपिडर्मिडिस इट इज सेंसिटिव एंड साप्रोफाइटिकस इज रेसिस्टेंट टू द नोवाबयासिन फेवरेट एमसीक्यू बहुत बार पूछा गया राइट सो यू आर गोइंग टू रिमेंबर इफ यू यूज नोवो बयासन साप्रोफाइटिकस रेसिस्टेंट एपिडर्मिडिस सेंसिटिव बोलना मत नो स्ट्रेस टेंशन नहीं लेना ठीक है नाउ ऑप्टोचिन इज विरिडांस इफ यू टेक द ऑप्टोचिन विरिडांस इज रेसिस्टेंट न्यूमोकोकस इज सेंसिटिव विरिडांस एंड न्यूमोकोकस को डिफरेंशिएट करने के लिए ऑप्टोचिन सेंसिटिविटी इस्तेमाल करते हैं so you can remember optochin viridans is resistant and pneumococcus is sensitive is what you have to basically remember okay now basitrisin agar aap liye to basitrisin where do you use it to differentiate group b streptococcus from that of the group a streptococcus yes and streptococcus group is sensitive to basitrisin and uh, Group B streptococcus is resistant. Our एक मार्क आ गया नीट पीजी में दूसरों दूसरे लोगों के लिए 300 मार्क्स है आपके लिए 299 मार्क्स है ऑलरेडी एक क्वेश्चन आएगा और यू आर गोइंग टू आंसर इट करेक्टली ठीक है Group B streptococcus typically is a part of the maternal vaginal flora. It is acquired during delivery. It leads to neonatal meningitis, pneumonia, and sepsis. so how will you remember group b ka b hota hai think b b is for baby baby means not your girlfriend b means baby means little baby right ha huh. so group b streptococcus i think b for baby another way to remember is pneumococcus is for the parents p for p and group b the group b streptococcus is for the babies About pneumococcus, what will you remember, doctor? Pneumococcus is for parents. Parents me, parents बोले तो adult है. Adult को होता है. Premenstrual syndrome, mood fluctuations होता है menses के पहले. So you remember P for pneumonia, M for meningitis, S for sepsis are all caused by the pneumococcus. Is what you need to remember. Now, what are the main causes of the meningitis in neonat? Neonat. छोटे बच्चा बे पैदा होते ही दादी माँ क्या करेगा मंदिर जाके घंटी बजाएगा हे भगवान राम ये छोटे बच्चे को बड़ा बना के उसको एम डॉक्टर बना के उसको एम जनरल मेडिसिन बनाओ बोल के घंटी बजाएगा घंटी क्या होता है बेटे बेल बेल सो बेबी इज क्राइम बेल सो यू कैन रिमेम्बर बी Group B streptococcus, E. E. coli, L. Listeria is responsible for the meningitis. Is what you need to remember. Or, अगर आप मंदिर गए तो वो शटकोपम लगाते सर के ऊपर, right? शटकोपम बोलते मंदिर में, right? So 
मेनिंजाइटिस मीन्स इट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ वॉट टिपिकली बालाजी टेम्पल में ऊपर से क्या लगाते शटक उपम लगाते सो so, वो होता है मेनिंजाइटिस राइट नाउ हाउ डू यू ट्रीट नोकार्डिया एंड एक्टिनोमाइसिस डॉक्टर यू कैन रिमेंबर स्नैप स्नैप द ट्रीटमेंट सल्फा इज फॉर नोकार्डिया पेंसिलिन इज फॉर द एक्टिनोमाइसिस Penicillin is for actinomyces. So many times this question was asked. Now, if you use Lovenstein, Jensen, Sagar, how long it will take for the TB bacillus to be cultured, doctor? Two to four weeks. Is liye isko kete hain? Not Lovenstein. Lovenstein, Jensen, Sagar because it takes two to four weeks. Acha bhaiya, Campylobacter jejuni. For it to grow, it requires forty-two degrees. Kyo? अगर आप कैंपाइलो का कैंप को गए तो क्या करते हैं यू विल पुट कैंप फायर कैंप फायर और सारे बंदे उसके बाजू में बैठ के गिटार बजाते हैं है ना तो कैंपाइलो बैक्टर जजनी इट ग्रोस एट 42 डिग्री सेल्सियस हॉट बिकॉज कैंप फायर आर हॉट एंड इट इज एसोस्ट विद गुल एंड बैरी नाउ वॉट आर द स्लो फर्मेंटर्स ऑफ ग्लूकोज डॉक्टर Lot of times we forget this very very important uh, favorite MCQ. Slow fermenter of lactose. Citrobacter cerevisia. How will you remember? Slow का मतलब lazy है. So lazy क्यों होते हैं? अगर तू बैठ गए तो lazy रहते हैं. So sit it sits. So citrobacter sits. So it is a slow fermenter. And it sucks into the space. So cerevisia. Right? Ha. Huh. Now, doctor, Lyme's disease. What will it lead to? Bell's palsy, especially bilateral Bell's palsy, means you should think Lyme's disease. Arthritis, carditis. I mean, cardiac block, erythema migrans, erythema migrans. All these things are caused by Lyme's disease. Now, doctor, E. coli. E. coli ka entero pathogenic E. coli ke baare mein jara yaad rakhna hai. Entero pathogenic E. coli typically leads to diarrhea, usually in the children. So children are pediatric P. Hota hai patho P. Entero pathogenic ka P. Oh pathogenic hai, invasive nahi hai. So no toxin is produced. It adheres to the apical surface. It flattens the villi and it prevents the absorption. Prevents the absorption. That is entero pathogenic E. coli. Finally, doctor. You are with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj for the hot, hot, neat PG. Quick way to remember. Quick way to remember together. Let us study together. Milke padai karenge roz. Aur saath saath me topper banne ka journey karenge. So please don't forget. Please call 9000-868-356. In order to get included into our WhatsApp study group, and also join and subscribe to the online MBBS.com ka video library. Aapko all videos mil jayega. 953 high yield topics ka videos, PowerPoint, sab kuch mil jayega. And don't forget to come on the forthcoming Saturday. We are having a day long. Morning 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. A running race, quick review of orthopedics. And on Sunday, we will have once more 10 to 5 p.m. ophthalmology live YouTube broadcast. Aapke doston ko bhi lana. Clevisiella, remember four years about Clevisiella. What are they? Aspiration pneumonia. Jo daro pita hai, usko aspiration hota hai. Vaha Clevisiella grow hota hai. Clevisiella lead to abscess in the lungs, common in the alcoholics, common in the diabetics. Diabetics is what you need to remember. And typically, what is that called in the lung? There will be a fluid accumulation in the minor fissure. That's called bulging fissure sign is what you need to remember in relation to the Clevisiella. Thank you very much. And every day let us study to become to make the best use of the forthcoming hundred days before meet PG exam.